Hey, I'm Tommy Calloway. So if you've been watching my videos, about a year ago I made a super bright LED panel, which is basically too bright to even use. So unless I'm trying to do slow motion recording or like simulate the sun, it's I, I really can't always use this panel, it's just simply too bright. But it is an awesome panel to have, um, or I, you know, or I have to turn the shutter speed way up. Uh, but <clears throat> I need to make, I want to make this panel more usable in more situations. And when I built it, I chose not to use the uh, voltage regulator because it was uh, PWM, pulse width modulation, which makes that weird flicker. Uh, if you see people recording different types of lights uh, with cameras with certain shutter speeds, they'll sync up and make these weird banding artifacts. But I found a voltage regulator uh, that operates at 13 kilohertz and it does a pretty good job and it doesn't, when it's at all the way at 100%, it actually puts out like 99% of the electricity going into it. So um, I'm going to use this one, I'm going to modify the panel that I made and I don't even need to use the soldering iron this time, I just need the unit itself and a couple of wires. Should probably unplug it first. And if you want to see the video I did on building this panel, uh, you can find a link in the description or it's, uh, you, know, you can find it on my channel. But basically when I built it, I used these connectors uh, that basically screw in the positive and negative to it. Um, and then this connects to the output uh, to the wall of a laptop connector. So I can just unscrew the connector uh, and connect it into the voltage regulator and then I can connect the wires to this unit and I won't even need to solder anything. I probably still want to like drill this to the uh, the board somewhere up here so it doesn't it's not flopping around. There we go. So on this unit you can see the power has a positive and negative and the motor has positive and negative over here. Uh, and those correspond on the front of the unit to these uh, these screws right here. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, I didn't even have to break out the soldering iron. It's just switch the power plug and added this voltage regulator unit. Here's the power, here's the motor. Wired correctly this time. I did not totally reverse the wires just before this. All right, so those are jammed in there reasonably well. Crap. Uh, so let's give it a test and see if it works now. It's real nice. Hell yeah. This makes this light super usable now. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Uh, it looks like it works pretty well. You can turn on just one. Move it down. Turn on two, move them both all the way up. So this is a great adjustable solution and I'm really happy with uh, the modification. Um, again, the component was only an extra $3.50. And if you wanna watch the original build video and you wanna build a light just like this, there's a link to the video in the description. Here's what the back looks like now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.